So here we are in MRL, and we're going to click Assign. And it takes a part number, and we can give it a logical name that works for our company. And this creates, if you could think of it as a window system, it's like creating a folder to put things in. And I can classify the folder and say, I'm putting face mills that are indexable in this folder. There's no data yet. It's just a container for it. I can hide lie that and say I want to add a classified component. <clears throat> Excuse me. Go to my milling components and mill, because I'm thinking, you know, we may have this out in our inventory. So I want to check that first. I'm going to check our inventory to see if we have the tool I need. So I'm going to put some search criteria here in MRL, 100 millimeter diameter, and we'll put in some edge angle 45 degrees and say search, and nothing found. Nothing in our database. So I'm going to go to the Tools United Search, log into their site, which is uh, free to log into. Just have to be registered. Takes a moment for it to come up here. And what's really kind of interesting is those query fields that I entered, 100 millimeters in diameter and 45 degree, it has passed them right through to the Tools United site. So it already knows what tool I want to look for. And um, I can filter by size or length, or in this case, I'm going to filter by, uh, let's go by vendor. I'm going to look at the FET tools. And you can see the screen changes dy dynamically. These are all of the FET tools that match my criteria. And I can pick through them down in the lower right-hand corner. You can see an image there showing me what it looks like. And when I find the tool that I want and all the information there at the bottom, I say load that up and let's export it from your system down to my computer. So I have a library of the GTC package downloads that I bring down. I give it a name for the package. It will be a zipped file when it comes down. So it transfers really quick. Get notification here that it's been exported to Siemens. So I'm going to go to uh, look at the classification. I want to classify this tool that I downloaded and bring it into the system. So here I'm picking the tool. Here's the face mill that we downloaded. And I'll say open it and import it right into my system. Okay, it's running the import. I could bring multiple tools down at a time and import them. We're just showing with one. I get a notification and it's a successful import. It displays the information about it. And here I can categorize it. It's going to let me put it in the classification category that, that I want to store it in in my system. This is all of the package summary information, what it downloaded, what I got, all of the details. So here at the bottom is the tool itself. Okay. And I can select it. That's the generic image on the top. This is the actual image of the tool. It's rotatable. Okay. Easy to visualize, kind of a last check to make sure it doesn't have any inserts on it, doesn't have a holder with it. And I just copy the tool and I paste it into that folder I created earlier container I shouldn't call it a folder so there it goes okay expand this that's all of the components that go into it and now we have this neat thing called a guided assembly um, what I've got highlighted there is the tool itself and I'm going to say find the holders that can be used with this tool and it's very easy it's a mouse button three click pick guided component and it says here it is here is the holder that goes with that tool and just like before I get the image I can rotate it now this is in our library already because we had it downloaded all I had to do was add it to my assembly so the holders in here 
but it doesn't have any inserts yet. So I'm going to repeat the process for finding the cutting inserts. And did the guided assistant there, there's a hexagonal insert that I want to use. And I'll just say OK to that. Takes a moment to populate it. And there are all of the inserts in the tool. Now I go to the top and I click on it and say, give me a picture of the whole thing put together. And because of these location points being defined and coordinate systems, it knows right where the inserts go and it knows how the tool gets inserted into the holder. Now here's the cool thing about attributes. We have this propagation. We can say, I want to propagate this from the generic tool catalog and it brings in all of the attribute information that is common. And then I can add additional information like face, mill, D100, anything that's unique within my company. I populate that sheet, put it on there, and uh, it's good to go. We're all done. That's the process of bringing in a tool, categorizing it, downloading it. Didn't type in many numbers other than the diameter in the very beginning and the angle and everything else was just copy, paste, sort and find. So really a really a slick thing.